It's the Miles from Main Street News Show, your weekly update for all things Disney World. Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody. This is Brian from the Miles from Main Street podcast coming to you for our weekly news show. This week is September 20th, 2021. So let's dive right into it. Some big news coming out this past week for Rise of the Resistance, that great Star Wars experience. It's, you can't call it a ride. It's an experience. They are going to be pausing their virtual queue starting September 23rd. That would be this Thursday. Uh, they will go to a traditional queue that we're used to with every uh, every ride down at Disney World. And uh, they will not have Fast Pass yet, as uh, they don't have it with any other one. Um, but they might be doing this in some sort of preparation for Genie Plus. Uh, Genie Plus is rumored. Now, this is a rumor. It is coming out uh, possibly October first. Uh, we don't have um, we don't have any official statement on that. So take that as a rumor. But in preparation for that, they they may be changing the virtual queue on Rise of the Resistance. Um, or it may be because they're starting a virtual queue for Remy's on October 1st when that opens. So this may be coming in preparation for that. But if you're heading down, take a look. Be prepared that uh, you may not have to get that virtual queue for Rise of the Resistance in the morning. In other news, you know, may have noticed I said rumor and emphasized rumor. Um, that's because the internet can be interesting. Early last week, a lot of the other news outlets that are independent of Disney started reporting that the Finding Nemo musical was permanently closed. Uh, and the reports for that were that the puppets were being destroyed, had been moved out of the theater, and that the um, some of the dressings on the theater had been taken down. Uh, that kind of forced Disney's hand. The next day, Disney made an official statement that Nemo was, in fact, not leaving, but they were working on a new uh, reimagined Finding Nemo, the musical show that, that will stay within that theater. There will be some new music. There will be new costumes and puppets. Um, hopefully they're bringing some elements of Finding Dory into it. Who knows? Uh, but that'll be coming in 2022. So be careful what you're hearing, what you're listening to. I'm always trying to tell you information that has been, that has been officially announced by Disney. Um, so Keep an eye out for that. Over in the Contemporary, Steakhouse 71 will be opening soon. It's taking the place of The Wave. And they recently put their menu out. Pricing looks pretty good. The menu looks wonderful. They have some wonderful uh, steak options that they'll have at dinner time. Uh, they've also kept some of the menu items that were really popular from the wave, specifically the bacon and eggs and the multi-layer carrot cake. Uh, so when you're looking at your dining reservations and, and ADRs that you'll be making, be sure to look out for Steakhouse 71. It looks like it'll be a good option. Another great thing that was coming out this week uh, is that Candlelight Processional is going to be coming back to Epcot this year. It starts on November 26th. And because of the vaccination requirements and where they are with COVID in Florida, they have decided that the choir will be all full cast members. They won't be working with local schools and colleges and other performing groups this year. But the uh, cast member choir will be the entire stage. Um, we do not have information yet as to celebrity narrators, but they, uh, I'm sure they will be able to announce that as they get people 
uh, verified and booked for that. I personally love the Candlelight Processional. I have not been able to in, enjoy it in person, but I have watched it annually on on YouTube, and I just love what they do with it, the music that's performed, um, and of course, it's the Christmas story, and um, it's it's it harkens back to Walt Disney, something that he had created, and he also loved um, it. So yeah, it started over in in Disneyland, and now they do it in, in Epcot many nights out of the Christmas season. More details will be coming, and the a dining package will be coming on that as well. And today, Space 220 had an, their grand opening. Speeches were made this morning, and diners were able to just walk in. Um, we're not sure how long the lines are, but you can get right in there. Um, they will be taking reservations uh, starting on September 27th. So this first week will be walk-up only. Um, they have a number of specialty drinks, and the... Lunch and dinner will have prefix menus, and those uh, menus seem to be priced uh, a little expensive. Uh, $55 for lunch, $79 for dinner. Um, kids' meals are at $39, and they do come with special trading cards with space facts and artwork that you can only get at Space 220. Uh, the food looks interesting. I am curious to hear how this uh comes along and and you know if it's good people like it the pictures i've seen looks really cool um so i think it's something that uh is going to be a really good addition to epcot um if you haven't seen the pictures you actually get into some sort of ride elevator that's going to take you up 220 miles to your restaurant. Um, looks like you sit and or stand in the circle and you're able to watch as the um, elevator takes you up and away from earth. Um, so it looks, looks like a really cool experience. Um, I'll be, I'll be excited to see these uh, reviews as they come out. Um, going back to things that are returning fireworks, dessert parties, are coming back. They're coming back on October 3rd. Uh, they will be $114 per adult, $69 per child. These will both be in Magic Kingdom and Epcot. And over in Epcot, they're also going to have some dining packages available for Harmonious. Uh, you can get one at the Rose and Crown, $89 adult for an adult, $39 for the kids. Uh, Spice Road Table in Morocco is going to be $72 with a $31 price for the kids. They will have prefix menus. We can start booking them this Thursday, September 23rd. So if you're interested in that and you want to get down there and you can, maybe you're heading down the next couple months, uh, be on the lookout for those uh reservations starting on on thursday so uh finally if you are a teacher or you know a teacher um it's time to get them a trip to disney world disney's giving away 50 trips for teachers it's the disney imagination campus 50 teachers celebration uh, this contest requires that the teacher um, complete an essay, and they're looking for teachers that use imagination in their classrooms. So the description for the essay that you'll have to write is describe an example where you've encouraged your students to use their imaginations to creatively solve problems, including your own creativity and presenting curriculum in a new inspiring way for a chance to attend the Disney Imagination Campus 50 Teachers Celebration at Walt Disney World Resort. Now you have some time to figure this out but you do need to have your entry in by October 31st. If you're entering, uh, we'd love to hear about it, and maybe we can uh, celebrate you on the podcast, whether you win or lose. That would be something fun to do. Um, we can read your essay. Uh, go check out the Disney World uh, 
Disney blogs, the Disney Parks blog, the Disney World social medias, all that stuff, um, and you'll be able to win a trip. Remember, you got to have this in by October 31st. I've already been telling the teachers that I know um, that they need to, to get in on this. Um, so if you guys know some teachers or if you're a teacher yourself, go ahead and get into this. This is going to be uh, a good way to win a trip to Disney World. I'd love to hear if you guys win as well. A little news for the Miles for Main Street podcast. We were recently invited into the Disney podcast family, a grouping of Disney podcasts that, you know, they're looking to grow and looking to help each other out. And they have some great information. All, all those podcasts are great. So head on over to the Disney podcast family Instagram page, and you'll be able to find uh the links there. We're so excited to be part of this family and and we're just so grateful that they invited us to be part of their group. So you'll be hearing uh, more about that in the weeks to come as we discuss the family with other podcasts and, and, and as Mikhailo and I discuss it together. So be on the lookout for some of the great information coming from those podcasts. So that's the news this week. Just a quick update for some of the things going on down at Disney World and keep you guys abreast of all the new things coming. It's a pretty exciting time down at Disney World as we have things returning and, and new things happening. Uh, I did see uh, the new gold statues, the 50th anniversary gold statues are up in the parks. Uh, go check those out. They look amazing. I really hope they'll start selling some replicas of those. Um, they're, you know, the fab 50 statues, uh, I've seen pictures of them. They look wonderful. Um, so definitely, definitely keep us in mind. If you're wondering what's going on, we can hit you up with these quick little podcasts, keep you updated. I'm trying to pick up everything that that's coming up during the week and, and keep you guys abreast of all of it. So, uh, thanks for listening. Be sure you come back on Mondays, every Monday for this weekly news update and join us Fridays for the miles from main street podcast. So until next time, make sure you join us out on Facebook and Instagram and let's talk about it.